If we take a closer look into the mighty universe, we will very soon figure out that it is deep as a sea and vast as a desert. For in sea, the more you dive, the deepest you get, and the more parched you are in a desert, the more you will keep hunting water. The cosmos works on the same phenomena. Scientists, researchers, biologists, astronomers all together have been striving just to detach the wonderful veils of nature for decades. Are you concerned about knowing how Voyager 1 and 2 were able to capture some terrifying messages from outer sources? And do you want to know how the Voyagers lasted 45 years in outer space? The messages they have been sending so far will be enough to surprise you. So keep watching the video till a call off. If you want to find out how far science has gone to discover the Earth and space with the assistance of technology, tighten your seatbelts and get ready to travel into outer spaces with us. Organizations send astronomers in space, and they yield piles of information from the space. But in all this, we completely draw a blank over the fact that machines are the only source by which we have made it till there. These machines are the prominent reasons for hundreds of achievements science has come across. Eight years after Neil Armstrong landed onto the surface of the moon, NASA knew that they should be aiming for a lot more than this. So they kept hustling to build on this, because the rest of the neighboring planets were awaiting to be studied. For a very long decade, researchers have been trying to capture a few glimpses of the mysterious places in space where no one has ever been before. In the late 90s, their primary goal became the exploration of Saturn and Jupiter. Researchers were in a state of constant struggle, and soon they announced the launch of the twin Voyagers. Voyagers 1 and 2 spacecraft have become a helping hand for scientists. These crafts are investigating the places where none has flown before. After the duration of 45 years' extended journey, these spacecraft dispatched some shocking revelations, and NASA was totally amused by that information. In total, the Voyagers released more than 33,000 images of Jupiter and piles of data regarding the solar system. These Voyagers are 14.6 billion miles away from our planet. Traveling long distances has made these probes to be titled as the Earth's farthest spacecrafts. These probes are further away from Earth and the Sun than Plato. So far, Voyagers have served humanity really well. On the launch of Voyager 1, scientists were unable to predict if after a long period of 40 years it would still be of the same significance. Voyager 1 was the second among the twin crafts, and this craft has an interesting fact that it carries exclusive records. These records are termed as the Golden Records. According to the scientists, this craft would last up to 2030 due to shortage of fuel. Till then, the instruments will be safely running. Scientists thought that these crafts would only last for the duration of four years, but the Voyagers proved them all wrong and did the job quite well. NASA has smartly turned down the heaters and the other unnecessary components. This will allow the Voyagers to continue the trail for some massive discoveries. Before the launch of Voyagers, the only thing that kept triggering the scientists was that are Voyagers capable of crossing the asteroid belt without being torn? To answer this, they flew Pioneer 10 and 11. These flew through it unscattered. It was the greatest tidings for the scientists. Since 2004, the probe has remarkably traveled. The subsection of the outer heliosphere of the Heliosheath. In this particular hemisphere, the pressure from the interstellar medium results in the slowdown of solar wind. The probe soon after crossing the threshold of the sun's atmosphere took a deep peek inside the other planets. After conducting close-up studies about the planets, one thing that scientists have completely acknowledged is that the outermost planets are nothing but gigantic bodies of liquid and gas, while the inner planets such as Earth, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are the terrestrial planets with solid surfaces. Some maddening discoveries were made when Voyager 1 took a shot by the rare alignment of the outer planets that happens after every 176 years. In 2012, it made a historic entry in a magnificent region where the dead entities of stars have been roaming for centuries. This particular place in the cosmos is named as Interstellar. Whereas, Voyager 2 entered Interstellar in 2018. Undoubtedly, these crafts are continuously sending exceptional information about their surroundings through the deep space network. Voyagers undeniably discovered lightning strikes which were caused by active volcanoes on one of Jupiter's moons. The solar system holds some unreal volcanic features within. These volcanic structures are said to be formed millions of years ago. There are five known bodies in our solar system with volcanic activity. 
These bodies are Earth, the Io's moon of Jupiter, Triton Enceladus, and Venus. Io's colors and its ions come from the blasted elements of the moon's volcanoes. Io's volcanoes are termed as Pele, and it has blown out Pluto 40 times, the height of Mount Everest. And if we try to understand this statistics by area, then the debris from Pele has covered an area equal to the size of France. In addition to that, intricacies of Saturn's ring were successfully found by voyagers. With the assistance of Voyager 2, scientists were capable of examining Neptune as well as Uranus. In due course, Voyager 1 came upon the intensity of the cosmic rays. The utmost concentration of solar particles in a jiffy was said to be decreased. Eventually, the power of magnetic field hiked to 0.4 nanotesla. Soon after the disclosure of the magnetic field, four other inflection points were marked by the decreased strength of the magnetic field. It identified the rise and fall in the magnetic field intensity. NASA further gave a detailed review about the behavior of the sun's magnetic field. The heliosphere edge was said to be highly uncertain. Along with noticing the variations in the field, Voyager 1 spacecraft measured the magnetic field with the help of a needle on a compass with primary directions provided by the Ibex ribbon. Another major strike by Voyager 1 is that it has picked up a faint plasma hum. The Voyagers are the only workable craft to reach the outer planets. The current mission that these crafts are working on is unearthing the outermost edge of the sun's domain. Researchers came across a bizarre clue that unlike Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus cannot be seen with naked eyes. On November 4, 1985, Voyager 2 revealed that Uranus began activity to a peak in late January 1986. The craft conveyed that 11 new moons of Uranus have been known to exist. Furthermore, this probe found that Uranus is the coldest among the rest of the planets. It holds a temperature of 353,213 degrees Celsius. The scientists, many of those who worked on this project since its very launch, are going through a bittersweet time these days because they have admitted the end of this project which far exceeded their assumptions. But this is not it. NASA is still trying to launch crafts that would be more favorable and long-lasting than these voyagers. An astronomer, Shomi Chatterjee, declared that, regardless of what the sun is doing, Voyager is sending back details. The craft is saying, here's the density I am swimming through right now, and here it is now. Voyager is quite distant, and it will be doing this continuously. All we could do for now is to hope that in future, we are gifted with even more engineering masterpieces that will keep on rewarding us with numerous unwrapped leads to understand the totality of each and every single sphere. What do you think these voyagers will reveal till their final exit? Let us know your views in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. We will see you in the next video. Till then, Edios from our side.